Hi, I'm Ludwig and I have 14 days of runway left with my business until I'm broke like MySpace, if they even still exist. Today is about three things that I can talk about with my super turbocharged Madcap software project. First, I decided to make the product hunt launch more than just a shot in the dark, which I also need your support for, but more on that in a minute. And then second, I relieved my timeline because every day I felt like it's not enough what I do and that was just not that fun anymore. And third, the LinkedIn project has now started and it's awesome because for the first time I have a proper content strategy, but it also feels a bit weird because most of my friends so far on LinkedIn are still my colleagues from the previous job in biotechnology. And now I'm starting to post like a madman on making video content on social media and that jazz, so, but whatever. So quick review. Yesterday I was zooming out and thinking about this project in general and then realized that launching the software on Product Hunt in six days, like I initially planned, is too tight. That I need to take some pressure out of the timeline because this being on the clock like crazy every day was just not that fun anymore. So I thought to move the launch one week behind on Product Hunt. So instead of like May 23rd, Wednesday, next week to May 28th, no. Wait, one week later plus seven. It is 30th. Now I added on 22nd and now it's 29th. And it make it a side challenge because it's just nice to have like more goals than this one that I need to make cash with my app, which is written in the stars if this will work. And it's just fun to have like also a more achievable, tangible goal to work on. And now what I need your support with is the fame on Product Hunt and the launch there. And this is basically two actions now it will just be to follow the scheduled launch but then also on the launch day in two weeks or something one and a half weeks to then upvote and like comment on the launch and these two things would be awesome and now just the like following of the launch is just three simple steps so i will quickly go through it this is now like where i'm logged in but if i open a private tab and then i go on product hunt that's what I guess most of you will see. So if you have an account, it's like easy, but if you don't, you can just sign in and it's like actually pretty easy, like just with the Google account. So I can just use my company account. Okay, I just needed to do two-factor authentication with my phone number, but I'm gonna cut that out so people don't send me dick pics to my private phone number. And then I will come to this screen, where it's just like, yeah, okay, that's me. Older than 16. That's basically, yeah, like the login. I need to fill in something here. Yeah, skip. Okay, I'm just quickly want to show this thing. Um, yeah, and then if we search for video files, let's see if it comes up. I'm not sure because I think it might have been still. Yeah, it's still invisible. I think it will be when the video is out. If not, I will put the link in the video description to like go to the product hunt page of video files because with the link, it will just be then product hunt slash product slash video files and then this is the product website and then would be super awesome if you could click on follow yeah, okay, i have to verify my email but this is just to show you but this follow will then give additional fame to the product so it will show up higher on the um, coming soon page i think and then like have more visibility and that's it so when the launch happens in two weeks i will bother you guys again to give your props again to this product so that it will blow up on the launch day on the product hunt page and will get among the first three and then second to the timeline i also just wanted to say that it's like a bit of an arbitrary goal right like it doesn't mean the product can't be purchased or used before that it's more like a also mental milestone for me and also to have a deadline to have the software in a good state and don't ask me about the software this is like so fucking annoying and like Winnie uh, Let's Go commented on the last video where I talked about this whole clusterfuck of getting the software packaged into an installer. Like he said, like, bro, the Electron build is so complicated. I spent longer time figuring out the intricacies of Electron Builder than building out the app. And um, this is kind of what I feel now too. You know, I just get like errors and white screens and things crashing all the time, even though like, in the development instance, when I just run it locally on my computer, it works. So that's just like some more time I need to put into this. It's like playing Sudoku on super hard, basically. But I always have to say, once you get it working, you also feel pretty great, like the reward is good. 
but now it's just that I'm like so much on the clock that it's just super stressful to deal with these issues. So let's have a quick look at the timeline too, which I haven't updated, but which I want to do now. So it has to load the project board. I haven't been using it so much because I was just bogged down so much, but the timeline, let's make it bigger. Yeah, like I haven't done this, I haven't done this, I haven't done this, but what we can do is put the launch to 20, I think it was, then move this to the week before. So now I'm much more in time again. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, the sale selling part also has to move past. And then I can put beta more like here. And suddenly I'm in time again. You see how easy it is. And the development is basically was just going on all the time. But I think this beta public can actually also be like in parallel with getting launch ready. It just means get launch ready that I don't like start new features, but that I just finalize everything, which I do. So this is like, I guess the updated time plan now. And then third quickly to LinkedIn, you see I have many tabs open with LinkedIn. If I go on my profile, it's like set up as a real content creation profile now. And I have an about me section, which is a huge text now, like a landing page sort of that Jan helped me write and then I have these featured panels here, one linking to the YouTube channel, one to the landing page, which also have to improve a bit the copy. And, and most important, we have a proper content strategy now for the whole LinkedIn project and made a content calendar. And this is how it looks like a notion, the content calendar. So a post a day keeps the brokenness away, I hope. And there's one item per post, like almost every day. There are some free days on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, there are like different types for like um, speaking to different types of, I guess, audiences, you know, some are more general to people who don't know you yet, which is more educational posts. And then there are like more targeted posts, which talk specifically about the solution I have to offer, like video files. And yeah, like Notion always awesome. You can also put it like in a calendar view, but I like the table view. And yeah, that's like how the content calendar looks like. And I also made the first post yesterday. Second one is coming today. Where is it? Here it is. So the from the content calendar, yesterday's post is this one. And then a bit later today, I will make today's post, which is also a bit of a different type of post with an image and more like promoting video files, where this is like more general thing. And now the only thing that is left for LinkedIn is to talk to a lot of people and get more knowledge and how uh, people work with video content since this is my like target niche here, but also mainly just like learn, learn, learn. At first time I have a proper content strategy and that's pretty cool. Thanks Jan. And okay, that's it then for today. Please give your props to the product hunt launch page and would be awesome. Just cost a few minutes. So awesome if you can spend them and then stay awesome and see you tomorrow.